In today's video I'm going to talk about the experience of purchasing a 3D plant from maxtree.org. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. So welcome to the Garden Design Tools video, another video talking about plants and 3D plants and purchasing a plant and how it is um, the process. Um, I'm going to talk about in Lumion and in Twinmotion, okay? So uh, the collection I've purchased was for max3.org. Uh, it's a pretty cool website and they have this kind of collections, okay, like you can see here. Uh, so you have, uh, depends uh, what type of file you want, so you have this, this kind of prices. Uh, the one the one I've purchased I've purchased the FBX files just with the normal maps okay so uh, if you're working with 3D Studio Max that's a different pricing but uh, it cost me uh, 80 euro okay so 95 dollars okay and this was the 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 plants I've purchased this collection so you have um, 10 species and each species has six growth sizes, okay? Uh, and it's pretty cool, a lot of Mediterranean plant that I wanted. Um, and um, plants not very easy to find in the 3D warehouse, like this Euphorbias, okay? So I'm just gonna show you the process, okay? So I'm gonna show you first in Lumion that has an extra step to it. And uh, after I'll show you in twin motion as well, okay? So basically what you get is you get uh, three, D, um, three zip files, documents, the maps and the models, the FBX uh, file, okay? Um, so you have this here, okay? So you uh, just uh, download them and uh, extract them. And this is what you get, okay? So you have the files, the, the 10 uh, species, and uh, each file has the six growth sizes inside, okay? Uh, you have the maps, so all the, the, the texture, uh, because you, basically we're going to paint the plant, the, the FBX file, so just to, to give you, um, just to show you quickly, so all these ones selected are just from the euphorbia, okay? So, um, don't do it that like I did here. Um, I will divide them in uh, in another folder because uh, uh, once you inside Lumion or Twin Motion painting the leaves and the and the the, the flower and all that, uh, it's a bit of pain that you have to keep searching the the right the right map. Okay, but normal you have the albedo maps, the normal maps opacity. So we are using the albedo, the the normal map and. Um, the opacity as well and the roughness uh, depending uh, um, if using Lumion or Twinmotion, okay? And after you have the previews, okay, so with the growth sizes, okay, so pretty good quality plants, okay, and uh, the thumbnails, okay, and <laughs> this centralina is pretty cool as well. So, and the, just the PDF, that's basically this, just showing you the sizes okay with the proper measurements so pretty cool pretty realistic in terms of growth in terms of textures okay i was really really happy about it so let's go to lumion first and see what happens inside lumion so this in here i already because uh, when one in the first time you import the model uh, the fbx model inside lumion it's all blank like it is here on the right okay so you're basically gonna have to use the maps to paint your plant you only do this once okay so after you save the model and you always have it painted inside your lumion library okay um in your plants collection or whatever you import it uh you only need to do this once but you need to do it okay and it's a bit of uh, you know it just takes it's a bit of a pain so i i'll i'll do that when when you have a, a bit of free time, okay? So you improve your collection, you enrich your collection. But Lumion, before you actually import the FBX uh, file into Lumion, there is an extra step you need to do. And I use Blender. It's a, a, a software, it's free. I don't know how to use it. I only know to do this that I'm going to show you, okay? So basically, this is what you get in the original uh, file, okay, that you've purchased from Max3. Uh, let's erase this cube. So what I basically do, because I don't know to, to work this program, so if someone else knows, I'm sure they have a better way of even adding the textures here inside Blender or uh, another way of doing this. But this is how I do it when I'm working with Lumion, okay? So basically, I choose the size that I want, okay? 
and um, and this is what I do. I basically erase uh, the 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 size, okay, and just move it to the origin point, just to be easier after to move around and save it as Euphorbia 06 or um, you know the big one, whatever you wanna you wanna do it, okay. Save it as. Don't save. Uh, on top of the original file because you lose the other sizes you've purchased okay so this is what i do i actually uh, save as a collada file as well or you can save it as a fbx file and this is how it opens in lumion okay so basically now i'm going to grab the normal maps and i'm going to start painting the 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 parts of the plant uh, that i want to paint okay so i'm just going to show you quickly here first uh, so I don't make this this video very long so I have the fruit I go to the standard and I go here and find so this is the, the way the this is why uh, really separating the parts of this specific uh, uh, model it will be a good idea so you don't be like this okay so the normal that comes this is already the one i've made that i'm going to show you uh, in a second why uh, this is uh, the albedo map that you actually um that uh, you can actually head here don't forget to take the glossiness and reflectivity and the, the colorization that's by default okay so what you I, as you can see here it doesn't look good okay because he actually there is no transparency is not a round shape like it should be so Another step, but this is for Twin Motion and Lumion, both of them you need to do this, is actually using the opacity map of uh, each map of each texture, mainly uh, anything, the stems you don't need it, okay, but you need for the leaves, you need for the flowers, you need for the fruits, you need everything that's round and has some kind of transparency, because m basically you need to transform the map, the albedo map in a PNG map, okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that here. So this is the texture that comes. What I need here is the uh, opacity uh, texture on top of this. So basically, okay, that's it. I'll just go click here in that layer. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Now I go in the background and I add a mask, okay? Just hide that one. On top of the mask, uh, press Alt on the keyboard, press the mask, and now Control V. Okay. Once you let it go, it basically cuts out that bits we don't need, and now we save as it is PNG. Okay. And this is the texture to make it good in Lumion. This is the actual texture you're gonna use. Okay. I already done this, so you need to do this for the leaves. You need to do this for basically everything that you see here. That um, you don't need to do for the normal maps, but it's only for the albedo maps. Okay that's really important so as you can see here all these flowers all this you need to do that and this is both for lumion and twin motion okay so as you can see now it looks good okay i'll add uh, renderings in the end of this uh, in the end of this video for you to check it out uh, but this looks much much better okay and now i'll add here the the, the normal maps so it's really, I should have separated, okay, so it adds the texture, and you can play around with this, don't forget, don't push it too much, okay, and you can play around with the coloring as well, if you wanted to make it a bit more dark, maybe play around with the coloring, um, but as you can see, it's, a, it's pretty cool, but basically this is a process you need to do for when you add this kind of plant, FBX or Colada files, to your Lumion or Twin Motion, you are basically painting the plant, okay? And after you do this for the leaves, for everything, for the fruits, okay? And this is what he gets you. Don't forget that when you adding, he actually tells you because you, I think you have like three types of leaves in here, so it tells you which model to bring, okay? Because when you are here and you select, you see leaf tree, so that's the leaf you're gonna bring from the maps, okay? Um, and after you have leaf one, you have leaf two. So it tells you the name of the texture you need to 
to to pick up okay but that step that extra step in blender is only for lumion you need photoshop or any kind of uh, program uh, edition um, that you can actually use the opacity to take that uh, that around part the, of the of the of the maps okay um, let's check it out how it is in lumion in lumion you don't need the blender why because this is how it looks, I already painted, so it looks pretty good. I'll add renderings in the end of this uh, video, but I'm just going to show you how uh, how, we pick, how it comes up the FBX um, file um, in Twinmotion, the original one. The trick here, okay, in options, don't collapse by material. If you collapse by material, it's going to happen exactly what happens in Lumion, that you can't separate the sizes and, and it's a bit of a pain. Okay, but if you keep hierarchy, what happens? Sorry, guys, I had to stop the video and start again because this took ages to import. So just be careful. It can be a bit heavy. Okay, so if you import the FBX file into Twinmotion, Keeping hierarchy, very, very important. What happens is this. It's much more practical than Lumion because what you have here now, okay, is still blank. You see, you know, for some reason, the stems and the leaves are already um, painted on, uh, texturized or whatever, you know, uh, word you use. Um, but the rest, you need to do it, okay? Uh, sometimes, if you have the uh, this file together with the maps, in the same folder sometimes when you import them it reads them already uh, but if, for example in lumion it never does so it's always blank and i always have to paint it on anyway if you keep hierarchy what happens is this okay so you have a pretty easily um, manageable um, sizes uh, in different files okay inside twin motion and fairly easy after you paint them on i'm going to delete this because i already have my the one i want so it doesn't because this is quite a high quality models and it's, it's heavy okay in terms of size but what i did after once you've painted on once the textures is nicely done like you want what you do is you come here and you add to your user library so you can start really enriching your library so that's the the, the main objective here is to en enrich your plant material library but do this only once okay um so after you have here always the plants you want i did uh, different sizes because the the good thing is if you do all the sizes at the same time the material you're going to add this it adds to the other sizes so you do this once here in twin motion and after you record each size uh, to your library i only did three because i don't need the other sizes normally okay uh, so that's it i'm gonna add the the um, the renderings in the end okay so uh, i've 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 done videos about this but i just want to show you quickly uh how to how to uh, add textures in in uh, in twin motion as well so let's do this uh, little uh, round shape again so is in color Sorry. is in color so you're going to pick up that that uh, uh, that file we did in the as a png in photoshop like we did for lumion okay you need to do the same here okay um i did here i did a little trick here for this part of the euphorbia instead of adding just a texture i add first a translucent map I've, I've talked about this in a previous video okay because what you do if you if you if you actually um add um a translucent um f um texture first okay and after in the color of that translucent you add the the the, the map you want okay He, he, he just he, he lets the light a little bit it's translucent so uh, he, he lets the light a little bit okay like he, he would he, you would see in the, in real nature okay so that's pretty cool that's something you can do in uh, in twin motion okay um and that's something pretty cool and after of course in here in the settings in the bump you have uh, you have the the the, um, the normal map you can add okay um 
let me just show you here something in the in the in the in the leaves so here you have the the bump again okay you can you can add here the normal map okay and here in the color just put opacity on okay because if not you're gonna see the leaves here the white lines okay you don't want that you want the opacity on so just be careful with that setting as well okay so yeah but that's it you basically import your 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 plot material it's a blank canvas but all the 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 the, the structure is there okay and it's pretty good quality i think it's really worth it things like the max tree uh, website you know that you can buy like this 10 species of plants in different sizes in different growths um and to really it start enriching your uh, your planting library okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoy it it was a bit long one uh, but because it has a lot of steps so don't forget for lumion the fbx you need to have a blender it's a free um free software plus just tweak that textures in photoshop okay so basically use the opacity to take the background to do it at png uh, and that for twin motion as well the only advantage you have here in twin motion is that you don't need blender okay uh, if you have any other way of doing this please let me know uh, this is a bit cumbersome but i think it's really worth it uh, you're gonna get an amazing plant library see you guys in the next video